hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial where I will be demonstrating how you can sign up for and provision a project operations light type of deployment on a new Dynamics 365 instance I will not be covering a resource non stock scenario or the stocked production scenario type of deployments also I will be mentioning all the links I use in the description down below so that it is easier for you to follow so let's get started as you can see I'm on the project operations homepage. I will also mention this in the description. Now the first thing you have to do is click on get started as you can see and once you click on it you will be taken to a form which you have to fill out. Now I can start by filling out this form. It asks for the name of the organization. Here I'm going to enter a trial name so I'm just calling it project ops trial you can enter your organization's name accordingly next up I will enter my first name and my last name and in the business email field I will mention the email on which I'm supposed to receive the project operations trial links so there will be three links which are the offer codes then I will enter country and uh, my affiliation I am just entering it as an MVP right now it could be different in your case accordingly now the final question asked is what type of deployment I'm looking for so my choice would be the light deployment deal to proforma invoicing I'm not covering the resource and stock scenarios so I click on light deployment I accept and I submit then I land on this thank you page and as you see in the next steps they mentioned that it will take up to three business days so in my case also it took about two days for the email to arrive in my mailbox and uh, you have to be vigilant and once that email arrives this is what it looks like the subject says that it's a Dynamics 365 project operations trial so this is the email which you will receive so that you can use the links mentioned in this email to provision your own project operations trial on a new instance or even if you have an existing instance that is okay but since in this example I will open the first link and I'm going to provision the project operations on a new instance so the first link I use will be for office 365 project operations preview Now I'll start by filling this information. I'll use the same email address which I used before and click next. Since I am creating a new environment, I'll click on setup account. And since CRM admin is the first user that I want to create like for any other trial, I'll enter the details likewise. I'll also enter the email and finally the company name. So the company name I want my environment to be called is CFT165PO and I will just mention some size two to four people and select the region this is to be deployed is the United States it could be anything else in your case now since my phone number is registered in India so I will look for the country code as India I tried to press I or 9 but it didn't work in my case so I have to scroll all the way down and select India and I click on send verification code so like any other Dynamics 365 trial I will be receiving an OTP which I did now I will enter the code which I received on my phone 922553 and I click on verify now I am needed to enter the subdomain so I will enter cft165po.onmicrosoft I am not adding any domain so this is how it will be for quite some time then I click on next and I enter the username of the CRM admin so it should be called CRM admin at uh, cft165po.onmicrosoft.com similarly you can set up yours you can provide that with a password and you can click on sign up so it takes a few moments till it creates your account so this takes about less than a minute as a side note I've also created another video on how you can create a Dynamics 365 sales trial I'll mention the link down in the description and 
we are just about to be set up. So here we go. We are all set and now once I click on get started, it will redirect me to the Office 365 itself. As you can see the URL is changing and it's now taking you inside Office 365. Alright, here I am and now I can the first thing we'll do is check licenses. So let me go to the admin center because you created this Office 365. You are the global administrator, which in this case is my user. It starts to load up. So what we have to do is go and check the licenses. So you expand billing section and look for licenses is the third option. When you click on licenses, Office 365 Project Operations dash preview is the license which should already be available and assigned. So by default there are 25 in quantity and as you can see Office 365 Project Operations preview, 24 licenses are available meaning one has been automatically assigned to us as a user. As you can see the default environment is ready but the name has not been populated which means it's not actually ready yet. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes for that to happen. So if you are going to go on the second link in order to proceed, which says the Dynamics 365 project operations. So you see here, this is the second link, which I have opened up here, which reads Dynamics 365 project operations CRM preview. And if I continue uh, to provision this link, it will give me an error. Yes, so it says that you know there is an issue and maybe the offer has expired or the service is not available but in fact the reason is uh, the default environment is not yet ready so we'll come back and look at it. So fast forwarded the CFT 165PO default environment is ready as you can see in the Power Platform Admin Center and that is when you can actually go to the second link and then try to provision it again and this time it will go through. So I'll just copy this link again and put it in my browser which I must have already done. Okay, let me just put it again. It says Dynamics 365 Project Operations CRM Preview. Now I can continue with the provision process. I'll click on continue and this time it shall not fail and get me through. So I click on next. Just like how you procure licenses, your checkout pages will appear. So you can click on try now because of course this is the trial. Next you will get to continue. And you click on continue. So this is the trial license you have obtained for the CRM environment. And uh, post this is complete, we will again go to the licenses section and check if this has been correctly added or not. So again coming back to Office 365 uh, Admin Center, again expanding the billing tab right here, going to licenses and we will see the second one show up as well, which will be the Dynamics 365 Project Operations CRM preview, you see. But it has not been assigned to us, right, because we just clicked on the link and provisioned it for ourselves. So the first thing that you have to do is assign your global administrator that is the user you created this environment with uh, with that license right so again we'll go to the active user since this is my new environment i should be the only one here if i click on it and my details will show up i should go to licenses and apps and then assign Dynamics 365 Project Operations CRM license and click on save changes. So that way you assign the second license as well. 
the license is now applied your changes are saved now let's start by creating the actual project operations environment meaning a uh, dynamics 365 or dataverse environment if you want to call it i'll name it cft 165 po it is a trial and my default region i've selected is united states it's a good practice to also describe the purpose of the environment so i'll just write for project operations light deployment right so i've just written my description and i click on next it will create a database by default so that field was locked in and here is where you have to provide a url for your environment i will name it cft 165po.crm.dynamics.com I'll click on enable D365 apps and the automatic app that I want to deploy is uh, project operations so I've selected that and I have clicked on save so now you have submitted your environment for provisioning it will accept it and it will take about a few minutes till it completes provisioning so since this is a fresh copy of the instance and the environment as well it might not take more than 5 to 10 minutes or 15 minutes at maximum uh, for your environment to be provisioned right so as you can see the preparing instance of the environment has come up so let me just fast forward and this has now completed I can now open the environment and be ready to access it so in case you want to turn on the um, release wave you can but I'll just go ahead and open the environment and uh, it will open up the cft165po.crm.dynamics.com directly so because this is the first time and depending on the latency also it might take some time but I have fast forwarded this and here all my apps are ready and published and as you can see I can now click on the project operations which appears in orange along with all the other apps I have simply clicked on it and at this point we have completed provisioning your project operations light deployment so that was the entire process um, I hope this video was helpful for you and um, I will come up with more videos till then please consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next one thank you all